Hello everybody! I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. So today is your January 2021 update. So my name is Dan, you can just call me Daniel or Dr. Page, whatever is the most appropriate or whatever you feel like calling me. I'm here to help. So this video I'm just going to be doing some small updates, but before anything I have to thank everybody that has been sharing my videos, that's watching, and I especially thank you for staying tuned and keeping up with these updates. But I especially have to thank my supporters on Patreon and Subscribestar. So uh, these are my patrons from Patreon, and I especially am thankful for them, because you might notice very clearly that uh, the set's a little bit different than the last video I showed you. I've introduced another backdrop, and some parts of this look a little bit more improved than it did even in that video. So it's worth noting that because of their support, I'm able to hopefully in the coming months sharpen up this wide angle shot a little bit better. So keep an eye out for that in some future video. But before that, I just want to show you a little bit about what's new in the set. So I obviously have the boards. Next, I want to show you that I have actually a supplemental table. So over here, uh, you can see that I have this is an additional spot for me to do demonstrations. I could do with paper, or I could do it with actual props. It's also worth noting I can also switch it to a full, full camera mode, just like this. So for example, uh, the next series I'm going to be doing is involving graphs. So it's uh, Doer's Guide to Graphs, Algorithms, and Complexity. I'm running out of air. I'm so excited. And uh, this is an example of a route map. So. Imagine you start, you live right here, and I want to go down these roads to get from point A to point B. I'm going to label each one of the sites or intersections with a dot, and I'm going to assume if there is a road between two dots, that means that I can go from that dot to the other dot. This is a very natural way of encoding or representing a graph. So once I have a graph, of course, uh, I can then model weights on these to represent distances, and I can nicely model actual routes, and I can actually calculate distances to get from one place to another place. So just a couple of other items. So I've been busy working away on these things, but in addition to this, I've also been working on my academic work. I've been doing some more research, reviewing papers. So by the way, a lot of these things are a part of what I do here at Page Wizard Games, Learning and Entertainment. I produce free or accessible computer science educational content. I also work on, I've been also working on computer game and some entertainment content, but I also do my work as an academic, and I love doing that kind of stuff. I think discovering what we know about computation is very fascinating, and it helps us learn a little bit more about the world every single day. First, you'll notice that the, ser the new series hasn't started yet. It's because I've been held back because of a few other things I've been up to. So I'm hoping to do that in the next coming weeks. Likewise, you're probably expecting a special announcement about a secret game project. That is also going to be coming pretty soon. So I don't want you to be worried. It's coming. I'm really excited about it. As you can see, I'm really excited about all this stuff. Hopefully you are too. So anyways, I hopefully you're excited about these new projects. I most certainly am, and I hope that you're excited to learn something new. Learning is one of those things that I just, I, I can't get enough of, and I hopefully that I can instill a little bit of that into you. So I'll say thank you very much, and I'll, I'll see you later. Have a beautiful day. Um... I should also show you that I actually have an extension table over here where I can do additional set work. So I have myself a little bit of a keyboard here. I can switch between sets. So note that this isn't how it's going to look probably in the series, but I just wanted to show you this thing in action. So you can see me over, actually I'm right here. I'm right here. <laughs> um, you can see I have myself a little demonstration table here. So I could put paper here, I could put all sorts of props. Uh, right here actually I have a route map. Uh, so this is supposed to represent roads. And say if you wanted to go from this starting point to say over here, this ending, ending point here, what road or route would you take? Oh my, I think I have a cat attacking me. Hey, 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 you stay over there. You stay over there, you silly cat. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> I see. 
see you. Like, here we go. Here we go. Mochi, what are you doing? What are you doing? We're, 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 trying to, we're trying to show everybody this exciting route map. See, Mochi's going to town, okay? Hey, everybody. Mochi's going to town. Hey, Mochi, Mochi is now our equivalent of Godzilla. So hopefully you enjoy Mochi here. So, I can even change this to a full shot if I want. Okay, looks like Mochi's sleeping over the city here. Uh, Mochi, what you doing over here? Okay, you're being a you're being a silly cat. Okay. Mochi's cameoing in this video. So, anyways, so as you can see, I could do all sorts of fun demonstrations down here, but I'm also obviously going to use the table. Uh, one big thing I want to do with a lot of the newer videos I'm doing are more physical demonstrations in these videos. So it helps accompany the intuition I'm giving you while I do all this mathematically fun stuff. And yes, the cat is still here. Mochi, what are you doing? Okay, there we go. Um, anyways, uh, so other things. So as you can see, I have the brand new set here. I got myself a our uh, demonstration table. I got this larger table, and Mochi's gonna go climb over there again. Mochi, just stay down. Stay down, you funny cat. Okay, fine, fine. Rule the world, okay? Rule the world. Okay.